buenos días, ¿cómo estás? Tenemos algo para ti. Es divertido y cosas. Es tiempo de seis a las seis. Wow. That's Hispanic impressive. Heritage Month that and really the nice. theme, What theme a tribute. song. It's lovely. That is. I can't wait for Brazilian <laughs> or Portuguese Heritage yeah. Month. They're going to yeah. do each one. That's each awesome. Each one. Uh, let's start with number six. We talked yesterday about rhinos versus hippos. I was I yeah. said I wasn't up here for this conversation. I would have liked to have been involved. Um, and, and who can, you know, win yeah. in a fight? Both spectacular creatures. Right, yeah, but yeah. again, we want to know who would win in a fight. Um, these two typically don't interact. Really? Mm. But if they did, here are a few things to consider. Uh, hippos are more aggressive. All right. They have more battle experience. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they're used to fighting other hippos. Rhinos, on the other hand, are more solitary animals. They do sometimes fight with each other for territory or mating rights. Oh. Uh, hippos have large teeth, and they're stronger than the rhino's horn. Oh. But rhinos have thicker skin. All right. So here's what it boils down to. It all depends on whether the fight is in the water or on the oh. land. All right. All right. On land, and this surprised me, mm. rhinos win. Okay. Because oh. they can charge the hippos with their horns. Sure. All right. In water, hippos nine times out of nine. Oh. They lure the rhino into deep water. And they let its teeth do all the damage. So it's safe to say ah. both animals respectable fighters. But a lot of other circumstances right. really yeah. like what are they fighting on. over? If they're fighting over a woman, and one of them really had you know, like yeah. it's a meaningful relationship, right. whereas the other one's just using her or whatever. Yeah, you know that's going to change who's right. going to win. There are a lot of variables to consider. For the sake of time, we can't we can't go into all, all of them. But that is that certainly just one of the one criteria. Example. There's yeah. other like you could go historically. Yeah, it's amazing things. I'm mm. almost sorry I brought it up now. Mm. All right, number five, some products fly off store shelves, others flop. Here are a few flops from Campbell's Chunky Soup Line. Meatball Bustin' Sausage Rigatoni Soup, oh. as well as the Philly-style cheesesteak soup. Oh, huh. they didn't last long in stores. The tagline was chunky soup that eats like a meal, except not all of those meals in a can caught on with shoppers. Uh, Philly-style cheesesteak soup. Ugh. Huh. Hmm. All right, number four. <laughs> He's like, it doesn't sound awful. You think awful. America's it's over that. <laughs> All right. Uh -oh. uh, number four, think about this next time you're on your fancy exercise bike. Back in the 1920s, this was the big thing in the world of fitness. The Vibo Slim, it was a vibrating machine used to slim the body. All you had to do was turn on the vibrating machine and attach a special belt to your arms, hips, or legs. And the machine was uh, especially good for people who didn't care to do much else except Stand there. I mm. see. I would be all on board. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. All right. Number three. If you know me, you know one of my true passions is growing and caring for pumpkins. Uh, that's why you got that big rooftop. Yep. Here's some tips for helping your jack-o'-lanterns last. It's part of my Paul's pumpkin loving blog. <laughs> my favorite one. Yeah. Here you go. Uh, cover the carved portions with Vaseline or vegetable oil. Uh, you want to lock out the moisture and keep them from getting all yucky. Another option is to cover the outside with lemon juice to protect it from fungus. Huh. And you can also bring your jack-o'-lantern in at night. Mm -hmm. Maybe you put it in your windowsill or oh. under the bed to keep it safe from the critters or bad weather. I'm gonna be doing a live tutorial on my TikTok later this weekend, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, pumpkins with Polly, <laughs> uh, pumpkins with an uppercase K. <laughs> you are welcome. All right. All That's sure. on the talk. I got also. it. All right, number two, Engelbert Humperdinck just sold his lair in Los Angeles. Huh. Do you know who that is? Yeah. In his prime, Engelbert Humperdinck was known for smooth ballads. He's now 86 years old. Wow. He just sold his house for around $4 million. Not too shabby. Has a pool and a spa. The kitchen has a strained glass, a stained glass yes, ceiling, yes, not stained, a strained yeah. one. Yeah. But it could be strained, <laughs> it could be strained too. Yeah. Yeah. Strained Which is neck. quite rare. Look at that. Look yeah, at that. Yeah. Yes, there are spectacular views of Bel Air Canyon. Yeah. Mm. It's a great movie song. theater. Quando, quando, was that his original? I don't know. I don't know. There was some song he sang. Remember, there were always those uh, those commercials for records uh, that would play mm -hmm. during the day, and I feel like he was yeah. one. That would, right. uh, anyway. Yeah. He's a yeah. handsome fellow there. Yeah. 
All right, number one uh, leads us to this. Just who the heck is Ingle Burke? Oh, wow. Well, he has a long standing feud with Tom Jones oh, dating wow. back to the 1960s. He's also considered one of the finest middle of the road balladeers around. See for yourself. <laughs> so I sing you to this see. Is it. After the love. Oh, yeah. With a song I just wrote. Yeah, yes, I played this in a lot of weddings. And I hope you can hear. What the words and the music have to say. Oh, this is oh, awesome. So Jimi Hendrix uh, weighed in on this. Yeah? Yeah. What'd he say? Once stood in as Humperdinck's guitarist. It was a show in 1967. The actual guitarist didn't show up. Hendrix just said, I'll fill in for you. Uh, but he stood behind a curtain the whole time to avoid uh, wow. making a fuss. Yeah, I'm surprised that nobody made him change his name. You know, some record yeah, company executive. I or... don't know if that's his real name. I oh, thought he I chose read that? like he chose that because it would stand out. Right. I'll, I'll, yeah, he chose ah, it to stand out. His name is Ed Smith. See, that's smart. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, well that's this was we learned a, lot a little fun. something today. All right. That was that's, a fun time. Yeah. That's the six at six.